What's that. happening, Aaron? I'm soaking up the sun and crushing the flowers. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> I'm wearing a poop shirt! <laughs> We're supposed to be here learning something, right? Good morning, friends. This is day one in Rome after we got a um, 7.30ish train in from Florence last night. And we were all so exhausted after just going, going, going. We ended up all passing out around like, what, 10.30? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, so we all decided to also sleep in this morning and kind of take it slow and get up and get ready. Um, today we're actually going to do the more modern stuff, and when I say modern, I mean less ancient um, of Rome. So we're going to hit the Trevi Fountain, even though it's closed. We're going to do the Spanish Steps and yeah. Yeah, the Pantheon and all that stuff in the middle city that's not ancient, like the Colosseum and stuff. Um, but so far so good. It's a beautiful day, and this is actually our view from outside. It's possible that the Colosseum is in that direction, but no one knows for sure. Oh, and then this morning we heard a protest right there, so that's pretty cool. There's well, been we protests. Had We've had a lot of protests in this Italian city. So, Italian country. Italian, oh yeah, Italian country, both Italian cities. Anyway, so we will catch up with you later. Hi, friends! So we have spent our first time in Rome. We went to um, the Trevi Fountain first, which is under construction, sadly, but it was still kind of cool. Um, then we walked from there over to the Piazza Navona, um, and we grabbed lunch around there. We also did the Campo di Fiori, I think, but it was kind of late in the day for it, because it's actually a market, which we just figured out. I wonder if that's what Campo means. I don't know. I don't know. We'll look it up. Um, and so now we are on the Spanish Steps, which are beautiful. It's a beautiful area, and there's just lots of people. She's chilling here, because we kind of had a late lunch, so we're just kind of waiting to see when hunger will strike us. Um, cold might strike us first, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and we're looking at doing a baked pasta place, which sounds delicious, and probably another thing of gelato, and we've already had two today. Well, at least Larissa and I have. We missed yesterday, so we have to make up for it. So, We'll let you know how that goes. It's been a pretty great first day. Ciao! Good morning, friends. It's day two of Rome. Yay! <laughs> and there's much rejoicing. <laughs> we had a pretty early uh, night last night. We just had dinner and came back to our B&B and just hung out because it's exhausting. And had the free wine from Florence. Free wine. Yeah, we, um, our B&B um, guy gave us free wine. In Florence, so we had some of that. I didn't like it. We so we snuck it. I don't like it. Um, anyway, so we today we're heading to the ancient city, seeing the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. Um, we're also on the hunt for a great panini today. Yeah, we are. Because yeah, yeah. we're all kind of over pizza and pasta. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, Aaron is. I am. I need. I need grilled vegetables. <laughs> Please. I'm a salad. I'm good. <laughs> Anyway, so um, we will see you later this afternoon and hopefully you'll be able to see some clips of the Colosseum. See ya. What's happening, Aaron? I'm soaking up the sun and crushing the flowers. Right now, we are where? Anybody want to join me? We're in the ancient city of Rome. We can't get out. We're in Palatine Hill. Uh -huh. And we're trying to get to the Colosseum, which is over there, but we don't know how to get out of where we are. Because it seems to be just kind of going in circles and then ending in dead ends. There's no plan. There's a lot of construction too, so I think that's making most of well, it's the difficulty. Well, it's putting up all the signs for the directions today. Okay, yeah, true. Sure. Like flower angel. You yeah, sneezing. So that's where we're headed after lunch. Um, once we figure out how to get out of this place, but it's beautiful. This what I'm not exactly sure what this area is to be honest. Um, they don't really have things that organized in the states. And, I don't know what's happening in the states and even in London. They have a lot of things really nicely labeled. Everything's like this direction. If you want to do this and how to get out, how to get out is very important. 
and um, they don't have that anywhere in Italy, really. They had like one little baby sign to go to David in oh. the gallery. The uh, oh, so, so anyway, that's that's what we're struggling with. Let's try to <laughs> leave places. Anyway, so we're off to hopefully find lunch and then to the um, Coliseum. Bye. <sighs> strange about these trees. It's like they know. And they know that we know that they know. The creepy. Creepy Italian trees. Good morning ish friends. Um, it's about 11 a.m. on Saturday. Um, and today we're heading to Vatican City. We are doing the Vatican Museums the and Sistine, Sistine, Chapel. Sistine Chapel this afternoon and just kind of hanging around Vatican City. Um, we're all getting pretty sluggish. Uh, I wonder if that's because that's what 10 days in Italy is like. Mm -hmm. Five cities in 10 Tec days. Maybe even, we could probably count six, including the Vatican. It's a genius um, idea. <laughs> yeah, best idea we've ever had. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, we're doing the Vatican today, and yesterday we had a wonderful day um, doing the Roman ruins um, so chill. all over. It was really, yeah, it was really chill. It was really nice. We just kind of dawdled and walked around. We didn't do as much walking, but we were all equally exhausted by the end of the day. Um, yeah, uh, so we'll do Vatican today, and we'll keep you posted on kind of how that is. I don't think we'll be able to take much videos or pictures at any of the places, um, right? Probably not. So, we'll keep you updated. Bye! <sighs> Hi friends. This is the end of the second to last day in Rome. Um, in Italy? In Italy. Well, yeah, the whole trip in Italy, but last second to last day in Rome. And we are... Scoop. <sighs> it's a scoop We're kind a of day. Tired. It's a scoop. A little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Um, so we've been packing and kind of just organizing everything, planning our last day of the trip, which we're going to go see the Pope tomorrow at noon, given he's addressing the crowd, and we're going to try to um, also see the inside of St. Peter's. There was a really long line today, so we didn't end up um, venturing into that. Instead, because we just sat and watched. We just sat and watched it, which was really nice. It was nice and sunny, and we just hung out. And Erin uh, read as she's been reading this whole trip. Every time we stop, like every time we stop, Aaron needs to read. Um, so, with those novels, please, please. Anyway, pee. <laughs> <laughs> um, just never mind. Um, so we'll explain when we're off camera. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I can edit whatever you want out, but I might. I can, but I might not. So, <laughs> being the editor, director, producer. Photographer. Where's the talent? <laughs> Music director. You have like no say in this Weird situation. Weird talent. Like this so is fun. Italy. Anyway, so um, it's been an awesome trip so far, but I'm awesome. I'm definitely ready to go back to London oh, and kind of just get back to school. To be honest, we're supposed to be here learning something, right? I actually have learned a lot on this trip. Food. Especially about marbles and statues and stuff like that. That's been pretty exciting. David's uh, penis. David's, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> David's uh -huh. penis? Yeah. What about it? It's on boxers all around the city. Oh, yes. If you looked at all over Italy, there are boxers, and it's like the front of the boxers has a picture of the David. Mm -hmm. Private parts. In the place of the private parts. It's very funny. Anyway. So, um, this will probably be one of the last vlogs before, um, tomorrow's venture, eight, eight hours of traveling? Tomorrow? Something like that. No, it's a lot less. Are we sure? It's like, um, we leave six o'clock to, oh, it is. Like six seven. to one a.m., six p.m. to one a.m. <gasps> Plus an hour. 
Why? Because we technically, like, we technically, um, gained an hour. <sighs> Still mad about it. <laughs> Bye. You know who's ready for the day? I'm ready for the day. Do you want to know why I'm ready for the day? We're going to um, Va Vatican City to see the Pope speak, and I'm wearing a Pope shirt! <laughs> this is my one thing that I needed in Rome, because where better to get a shirt with the Pope on it than in Rome? Duh. Duh. So, um, me, Aaron, and Emma are getting ready. Uh, Larissa went out to go pick up a friend we met in Venice, and she's meeting with us today in Rome. We're going to go see the Pope speak at noon, hopefully get into um, St. Peter's Basilica at some point before or after that. And then we're just kind of going to chill before we need to catch a cab to catch our flight to catch our bus to go home. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're taking all the transportation. <laughs> we are we taking have all taken all the transportation on this trip, actually. We have we taken all the possible transportation. We did a boat, a train, yeah, the gondola. We did a An boat, a train, a car, a cab. Um, buses, Plane. planes, Christ. all of them, and I hate all of them, so that's fun. Anyway, so we're off to see the Pope. Bye! Vittoria de Milano che fanno a Roma la promessa di seguire Gesù. Saluto anche i ministranti di Vesana in Brianza. Ci si vede così lì? Ecco il cartello, tanti leave Rome. Um, we spent today, our last day in Rome and our last day in Italy, we went to um, St. Peter's Square and we saw the Pope. It was really cool. He came out on um, uh, a little balcony up in one of the buildings of the Vatican and he said just a little prayer. It was all in Italian, of course. So we're like, I don't know what you're I saying. I think he said a little more than a prayer. It was like, it was like a little, little I think sermon. He had a chat. It was like a little chat. And then he prayed. I mean, it was like 15 minutes long, so it was great. Um, it was beautiful. It was really cool. Um, there were, there must have been like, I guess, how many people do you think? Hundreds. Hundreds, maybe thousands of people. There. I mean, it was beautiful, but everyone just went silent when he came out, so it was really, really cool. Um, and he just, he spoke for about 15 minutes, and then, I mean, then he waved, and everyone cheered and clapped, and he went back inside, but it was really cool. Um, and thank God it stopped raining at that point too because it rained like almost the entire time. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, getting oh, there. It was, so cold. it was really cold. So it's kind of like, oh, Italy is telling us to go home. Yeah. Back to London. So we're just packing up. Got all of our things over there ready. Yay! We're taking that little naps before we leave. Yeah, Aaron? Hi. Yeah. So we just have to catch a taxi to the airport and then we're going home. Yay. And I'm, I'm coming. Ready to go home. Yep. So we'll catch you later. There. Bye.